I'm going to tell you guys what's the best weapons to use for Crimson Days, and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome to Guardian Watcher. If it's your first time here and you love Destiny and learning all things about the game, then subscribe and click on the bell, that way you guys don't miss out on anything. So, real quick, before anyone freaks out and tries to jump down my throat, no homo, all the weapons that I'm going to mention in this video is a part of the meta. Yes, the meta. So, don't be surprised. I will go over what I've seen the most as well as what works for me. However, there are a few honorable mentions that aren't part of the meta, but I think that you guys would appreciate them due to their versatility. Now, I'm going to mention all the weapons that I have seen the most in the kinetic, energy, and power slots. That is, whether if I have used them, my partners used them, or we went up against teams that have used them. We'll start with the kinetic weapons. The majority of the kinetic weapons that I ran into were, of course, the infamous Mita Multitool, Nameless Midnight, The Origin Story, Annie Oak D, Atalanta D, and to my surprise, the Time War Inspire, which is the newer Iron Banner Pulse Rifle. I'm not gonna lie, but the origin story and the Time War Inspire definitely caught me off guard tremendously. I kept running into both of them, and it kind of like threw me off my game. All of the other kinetic weapons that are meta was just a given though. As for energy weapons, like I said, I've seen a lot of the meta weapons like the Uriel's Gift, Positive Outlook, Believe It or Not, Last Hope, even though it was nerfed, and the Traveler's Judgment. But when it comes to the energy weapons, there were a lot more interesting choices for honorable mentions, but we'll get to those a little bit later. Power weapons are next. Of course, Sins of the Past made the cut, as well as Curtain Call, and this wouldn't be PvP if someone on one of the teams weren't running around with the colony. I've seen Telesto, Perfect Paradox, and a few swords as well. Now since the first couple of hours that the Crimson Days event went live, I was trying out a bunch of different weapons in PvP just to find out what was actually good for me. I was pretty much trying to see what does and does not work until I get comfortable enough to actually say, okay, I like these weapons together. So first off, let's get this out of the way. I love Mita Multitool. Call me a scrub or whatever, I don't really care. I have been playing with Mita since Destiny 1. Don't believe me? That's fine. You can go see my Destiny 1 Trials videos that I actually have in a playlist. Almost all of them had Mita or the Talalic as my primary weapon. Anyways, moving on. As for my energy weapon, I tried many different things, but I eventually ended up with a positive outlook. I even thought that the Frostmire's Hex would be a good contender, but I was so wrong. While attempting to use the Frostmire's Hex, I kept getting destroyed by teams that were rushing. And it sucks because there were just way too many teams rushing with either the Uriel's Gift, Positive Outlook, Last Hope, or the Traveler Judgment 5. And you really need something to compete when they get in close, especially when they team shoot you, you're pretty much done. Depending on the map, I would either use Sins of the Past for mid to larger maps, or Perfect Paradox for more smaller to mid-sized maps. But if I wanted to use my Colony or my Telesto, then I would switch my Mita out for Nameless Midnight or any OBD. But then again, that is depending on the map. I did try the origin story and it didn't really work out for me. And I tried the Traveler Judgment 5, but I just kept getting outgunned by auto rifles, so I had to put it up. I guess this was due to not being used to the origin story outside of PvE. I will say though that Sins of the Past and Perfect Paradox both worked very well on the Burn and Shrine remake called The Burnout. In the end, the majority of the time, my loadout was Mita, Positive Outlook, and Sins of the Past. But enough about what I like to use. Let's get into the honorable mentions, shall we? Now, I wanted to add these honorable mentions because these are weapons that no one should sleep on in PvP when it comes to Destiny 2. I kept getting killed by these weapons when I was trying to figure out the perfect loadout for me. So, for the kinetic weapons, we had the Jade Rabbit. Yes, little old JR. The showrunner kicked my ass. And I have seen maybe one or two Nightshades. As for energy weapons, there was a little bit more variety. I've seen Metronome 52s, Tone Patrols, Foggy Notions, Cold Heart, The End, which is a trial scout rifle, and I'm embarrassed to say, but I got killed by a Drain. Yes, the Drain. Like, WTF. Once again, in my defense, this was before I found the weapons that I liked. So, have you guys had any luck running Crimson Days? And if so, what weapons are you using? 
possibly any of the honorable mentions or are you using something that no one has caught on to just yet let me know in the comment section below and if you guys enjoyed this destiny 2 video then feel free to watch these other two videos you never know you just might like them and if you do leave a like share them and then come back for more because you know you want to thank you guys for watching and remember less guns doesn't mean less crime and i will see you guys next time Crush them. One minute left. seconds remaining. Show them the true meaning of war. Both of you fought cautiously and with sound tactics. Your friendship will go far. The two of you flirt with death as much as with each other. It's disgusting.